I'm assuming that you recently bought one of these and you don't really know what to do with it. Or maybe you think that you might need one and unsure if you actually do or which one you should even get. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you what a USB stick is, the different kinds of them available and how to use them. But before I do that, let me explain who this video is for and who it is not for. If you know the difference between a solid state drive and a hard drive, for instance, then this video it's probably not for you. If, however, I completely just blew your mind with that one sentence, then don't worry, you're in the right place. And actually, USB drives are not that complicated, just like our sponsor. The Ultimate Excel Cheat Sheet Bundle Pack. This is a collection of seven double-sided PDFs that you can print off and keep at your desk to help you with all kinds of functions inside of Excel. Go ahead, jump over to the link in the description and download a copy today. These are called USB sticks or thumb drives or flash drives or jump drives. All of those mean exactly the same thing and all pretty much are interchangeable whenever you look them up online. Jump drives serve the exact same purpose as floppy disk from back in the day. They are meant to be a fast way to transfer your files back and forth from devices or computers. For instance, let's say that you want to share some family photos or a home video with some friends. You can put those files on a jump drive and just take the USB stick instead of lugging around the camera or laptop. You can also take that exact same jump drive to Walmart and print those images off at the photo kiosk. Jump drives are Jump drives are perfect for short-term storage, dealing with transporting data or keeping current project files on and just traveling them around in your pocket. Jump drives are not made for long-term storage or backups. While they can be used for that, having them as a backup drive is not recommended as they were not designed for long-term storage. If you're looking for a way to store your data, we actually do have a video for that. In fact, this video here steps you through how to look for a hard drive, what kind of hard drive you want, and what it's used for. Jump drives are very easy to use, so easy in fact that you shouldn't just plug one in without first knowing where it came from. Always make sure that the source of the jump drive is from a trusted person or is directly from the store. The reason? Uh, malware and viruses. Now this doesn't mean that just plugging in a jump drive will automatically compromise your computer. Those days are not completely gone yet, but they are more so in the rearview mirror. Computers have come a long way in protection to the point to where Windows is mostly a self-secure operating system. Ever since Windows 7, all Windows machines come with their own antivirus program called Windows Defender, and it does a pretty good job at protecting you from malware and viruses. But this protection doesn't mean you can throw all caution to the wind. If a person is tech-savvy enough, those securities can be circumnavigated. It's not easy, or at least it's not as easy as it was back in the days of the XP era, but if you're tech savvy enough, you can absolutely compromise someone's computer with just a jump drive and just plugging one in. But for most people, honestly, I would say probably 99.99% .99 of the population, they're not going to know how to do that. Just to be safe, don't use a jump drive that comes from a shady area or a person you don't trust. So you have the jump drive, you know it's secure, or you just purchased it online. How do you use it? All you need to do is insert it into your computer. Your computer should have a little slot on the side or the front of it that looks like a rectangle like this. There's only one way that this USB drive can go. You can see that it has a little blocked off area at the top and an open slot at the bottom. Make sure that it lines up with the slot on your computer and plug this in. When you insert your jump drive to the USB slot on your computer, you might be greeted with a pop-up window that gives you options of what to do with the drive. I say might because sometimes Windows operating systems do this automatically while other times they don't. For instance, Windows XP 7 and 10 all announce when your USB drive is detected and allows you to select what to do with the contents. However, as the years went on, that window has become smaller and smaller to the point to where Windows 11 sometimes 
doesn't even tell you whenever you input a USB stick into your computer. The easiest way to get to the files on your USB stick is to insert the USB drive, go to computer from your file directory, and then a list of all of your drives will be populated in front of you. Now you have your USB stick loaded up. What can you do with it? I personally like to have my jump drive data opened up on the right hand side of the screen and the file that I'm transferring from opened up on the left hand side of the screen. Let's call this window on the left, window A, and our jump drive window on the right, window B. In window A, navigate to a folder where your files are saved that you want to copy to your USB drive. From here, select your files that you want and then drag them from window A and drop them into an empty space on window B. If you want to select multiple files at once, you can do so by holding down control and clicking on your files. Or if you want to select all the files in your folder at once, you can hold Ctrl and press A and all of the files be selected and highlighted. Now that you have your files backed up on the jump drive, it's time to make sure that you safely remove the jump drive from your computer. Make sure to only remove the drive once the data transfer is complete. If the drive is removed before the transfer is complete, the drive could become corrupt, or if you're running an older operating system, the machine itself might just crash. Newer operating systems claim that hard swapping USB sticks is perfectly safe. Hard swapping means that you pull a USB stick out while the drive is still holding on to it. However, most IT professionals will tell you that you still need to safely remove your drives first. To safely remove your drive, go down to the taskbar next to your clock. Here you will see a little arrow. Click on that arrow and you will find a USB thumb drive icon. Right click with your mouse on the icon and select safely remove and then whatever brand of USB drive that you purchased. Once completed, the computer will tell you it is now safe to remove your drive. If the computer does not tell you that it is safe to remove the drive, that it is still being accessed, close out of all windows, wait 30 seconds, and then try again. If this still doesn't work, you will need to turn off your computer, completely shut it down, and then remove the drive once the computer is shut down. Now it comes to the big question, what kind of USB drive should you buy? And the answer is right after our sponsor, Cell Tools. Cell Tools is a comprehensive add-in for Microsoft Excel that makes Excel easier to use. With features like name swapping, random number generation, and even helping you navigate VLOOKUPs and creating VLOOKUP tables for you, Cell Tools is your one-stop shop for all kinds of things inside of Microsoft Excel. Try it out today and you'll be wondering how you ever navigated Microsoft Excel without it. So what kind of USB drive should you buy? The real answer is it doesn't really matter. Yeah, some drives will be faster than others and some will be larger than others. However, in today's time, most USB drives come with enough storage space and speed that it truly doesn't matter. What I would suggest is a USB 3 with 32 gigs of storage or GB. GB stands for gigabyte, which is the standard for determining size or at least it this video's current time of recording it is. In a couple years, the standard might be TB, which is terabyte, and that's the next step up. But that could be five, 10, 15 years from now. I don't know. 32 gigabyte is enough storage that will pretty much store anything that you want to transfer, and USB 3 is fast while still being cheap enough that you can buy a box of them for around 30 bucks. Now, if you just want one, you can pick them up for around $10 at your local dollar store or Walmart, pretty much anywhere that has any kind of a technology section, they're going to have a jump drive. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to your new USB drive. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, well, we have some more populating here. And if you enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy some of our other videos as well. Go ahead, like, subscribe because it won't cost you a dime and it helps us out. And until next time, have a great rest of your day.